Welcome to the state television company Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 22nd number of Western Armenia weekly magazine has been published. The U.S. ambassador met with forcibly displaced children from Artsakh. The people of Artsakh assured that it is an unrealistic plan. We used the term ethnic cleansing. Ocampo recommended to use the word genocide. Armenia martyrs are sent. Remains of 1,500-year-old buildings were found in Adi Yaman. The wonder of Lake Vana and the magical beauty of flamingos. One football club filmed a video in Kurdish near the Armenian church. A new tiny second issue of Western Armenian Weekly magazine has been published. Arshel Gorky, the son of Western Armenia, is on the cover. A number of important topics are represented in this new number of the magazine related to Armenian history and cultural heritage. The following topics can be distinguished, like an exhibition dedicated to Armenian heritage, records from the 6th Summer University of the National Council of Western Armenia, Ashut Hayatunyan's article discusses the importance of this historical document and the prospects of its implementation, Mayur Hayatunyan's views on the Treaty of Severus, a reference to the threats to the Armenian historical and cultural heritage of Artsakh. The partitured and piano of Komitas have been published. The Armenian English and French versions of the magazine you can find at the following link. 27 events were held in the regional library of Sunik region during the summer months. A summer school program was implemented including English classes, film viewing, reading hours, quizzes and games. American Corner was visited by the U.S. Ambassador Christina Queen, who met with forcibly displaced persons from Artsakh and the Memorandum of Understanding was signed. Literary, musical, theater performances, book discussions and readings were organized in the library. The summer program of the children's department was launched with the June 1st event, watching cartoons, story time, game competitions and open-air reading room. The library has cooperated with NGOs and literary groups, organizing meetings with the representatives of various fields. In the summer, the children of the Paramas Youth Union and the Happy Summer School program were hosted. As part of the Family Librarian program, libraries visited elderly care centers and delivered books to readers. The state housing program for Artsakh citizens has been in action for about three months, but as of now, not a single family has received an apartment. For orientation, only 30 families received a certificate, but they did not buy or build an apartment. The Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs reported that applications from around 600 families have been received so far, but there are no statistics on settlements yet. Certificates are provided first, and the actions to acquire an apartment begin based on them. In recent months, the number of applications for citizenship of the Republic of Armenia by Artsakh citizen has increased. It is known that the conditions of the housing program, the allocation of 3 million drums per person, are unrealistic for many people, and they find it difficult to buy an apartment. A few days ago, representatives of the Civil Society Online talked with the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, Luis Moreno Acampo, who mentioned the importance of the UN Convention on Genocide and obligation of the international community to respond to the risk of genocide in Artsakh. Acampo advised that the people of Artsakh to be more active and not wait for other people to act on behalf of them. He emphasized as well that now the world has changed and the issue of Artsakh should be continuously raised in international courts. Akampo also emphasized that the word genocide should be used because the term can force the international community to hold Baku accountable. He suggested that the people of Artsakh, if necessary, apply to international courts. The issue of prisoners was also discussed as a common problem of Artsakh citizens. Akampo suggested that the issue of prisoners should be included in international courts as well as the issue of return to Artsakh should be kept on the agenda. He noted that the return of Artsakh should be a key topic, but this issue should be discussed in detail during new meetings. The meeting lasted about two hours and a new meeting is planned and more in-depth discussions will be held. Leftovers of 1,500-year-old buildings were found as a result of excavation in Adi Yaman. Studies have shown that these buildings belonged to the monastery of the 15th century. Materials found during the excavation include place of prayers, part of temples, and other archaeological objects. These discoveries are important for the study of history and culture as they provide an opportunity to analyze the historical developments of the region. 
As a result, the most beautiful and historical buildings found in this area document the importance of Armenian cultural heritage and the historical presence of Armenians in Western Armenia. Lake Vana, located in Western Armenia, is an important stopover for flamingos on their way from Iran to Africa in the fall and on the way back in spring. During the hot weather, when the atmosphere starts to warm, these beautiful birds gather in Lake Vana and attract visitors with their large bodies, elegant necks and long legs. They use the food area of Lake Vana, where they stay until the end of November, then move to warmer regions. The photos were taken in the Arches section of Akhlad region of Bitlis. At this time of the year, many photographers from different places come to Arches to photograph the temporary residents of Lake Vana and their dances. The video clip presenting the new seasonal clothes of the football club Van Spor of Van has gained wide popularity in the Turkish media. The reason is that the song included in the video is in Kurdish, not Turkish. It is also noteworthy that the video was filmed in the territory of the Holy Cross Armenian Church on the Ahtamar island of Varna Lake in present-day Turkey. It is also known that Ahmed Spor Football Club shot a similar video. This was all for today. Goodbye.